Newmarket trainer Jeremy Nasida is hoping Sloan Avenue can give him his 20th Dubai Carnival winner when he takes his chance in the Godolphin Mile on World Cup night. The dirtbred Colt was a leading contender for the Mile Championship on Good Friday. So was it a wise decision to head to Dubai? My own belief is the dirt should suit him really well. Um, he's by Candy Ride and he's out of an AP Indy mare who's a sister to uh, uh, a Breeders' Cup Classic winner, Blame. Um, he should handle the dirt really well and I don't really have any fear about sort of handling the ground conditions anyway. It was probably a difficult decision, was it, between going to Dubai for the World Cup meeting or heading to Lingfield for the, uh, for, for the big mile race, a race that he would have had a, a leading chance in? Yeah, I mean, I suppose if we went to Lingfield, we'd been a very strong favourite, but, um, you know, there's a lot of difference between, you know, a £100,000 race and a $2 million race. So, you know, and I think he will go on the dirt. Uh, um, you know, the opposition in Dubai, uh, I think we fit very well into the race. Uh, the big concern about Dubai is going to be, I see this potential of 15 runners, draw, kick back. Um, you know, the, actually the size of the field and the drawer, um, I actually find a little bit more worrying than the opposition. I think he's, I think he's well up to, to competing against the horses that are in that race. Yeah, it seems to me, what I've seen on the, the dirt track there so far, that uh, you've got to get a good start, haven't you? And, uh, and you need a horse that can get a good position and really travel. And your horse seems to have a really good cruising speed. He's got a good cruising speed. I mean, I, I think he's, you, know, you have to be a little patient with him early on. He's not the quickest horse out of the gates. Um, but I'm, you know, I, would, I would anticipate, whether I'm right or wrong, where, um, that they're going to have to have the track quite tight for the evening, you know, with the World Cup in mind. You know, and, just a personal opinion, you know, if you've produced a dirt track, uh, not to, you know, to bring the Americans back, um, there'd be little point in, in having it sandy on the even, evening and deep and not resembling a, you know, a track like they have in America. So I'm hoping that that's going to lead, that they're going to put plenty of water onto it, tighten it up and it'll be a fast track. And um, normally in big races where there's a lot of money at stake, you're inclined to see people go faster early on. Um, and I think this horse, this race, this is, these are all my gut feelings, but I think it will be run at a different kind of tempo to what we've seen through the rest of the carnival. And maybe that tempo early on will give horses coming from behind, from behind a better chance. You know, having watched some of these races that they've run on the dirt through the carnival, you know, they're running quarter of a mile, the first quarter of miles in 26, 27 seconds, you know, compared to an American race over on the dirt over a mile where they'd run in 22, 23. You're looking at 20, 25 lengths slower for the first two. So they don't really stack up as dirt races yet. So we'll see what happens on World Cup night. Yeah, and your horse seems to have the, the stamina to cope with uh, with a strong run race. Yeah, miles suit him well. And as I say, I just, I just hope the track's tight and fast um, because that's what he'd enjoy. And I hope we get a, what you'd call an American dirt race. If we get an American dirt race, I think it will be playing into what 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 my horse would appreciate yeah well you certainly know what it takes to uh, to win on the dirt you trained out in the states so uh, you've probably got a, an advantage over some yeah i hope so uh, you know well i don't know but it's no advantage i mean you know horses horses get them fit and well and happy and and give them the conditions they want then they'll um they'll produce the goods you know it's uh, you know and he's bred for this surface so I, I don't have any question marks about him going on it and of course, you also know what's required to to win at the carnival. You've had success with the likes of Starlight and, and, and Vague in the uh, in the past. Yeah, had a lot of success out there. Um, you know, I think we've had sort of 19, 19 winners at the carnival in years gone by, and at about a sort of an over a twenty five percent strike rate. Sadly, never never got the job done on World Cup night. Had a big run with Wilco finishing third in the World Cup a good few years ago, and. Um, had other horses like Majors Cast and Strike the Deal who've, who've been placed on World Cup night, but yet to have a winner and it would be nice to go there and, and I say, I think we go there with a, a good chance, um, you know, be glad to compete there and hopefully we can hit the jackpot. And what are the riding plans? Um, Frankie Dottori rides, he's been riding in work. Uh, most of the spring, he's delighted with the horse. And he looks to be a horse with a nice temperament, so, uh, you know, he looks to have the constitution to, to go globetrotting. Yeah, we've already had him in America this year, and sadly, the day before he was due to run at Gulfstream Park in, in um, the beginning of February, he got injured on the track the morning before the race and couldn't run. Um, and he travelled great out there and came back. So uh, the, the temperature is a little bit of concern. To go into that, that sort of heat can sometimes 
you know, takes it, it's, I'd much prefer to take a horse from, you know, you know, from the warm to the cold than from going from the weather we got here into 30 degrees plus. And beyond the Godolphin Mile, what are the plans for this horse this year? This race is going to tell us a lot about how we go forward. Um, you know, I feel he will go on the dirt, but we still got to go and do it. If he goes well on the dirt, then, um, you know, I'd, I'd envisage it. He, He'd be a horse I'd love if things went well. And what's in the back of my mind is um, the Met Mile at Belmont Park, um, which is a you know Group One going a mile. Um, it's a race that makes stallions. Um, but let's see how he performs on the dirt. But if things went well next Saturday, um, the Met Mile at Belmont Park would be would be my prime objective. Yeah. And domestically, would they be uh, any any plan to run him on turf over the summer? I'd love to run him on turf. I think he'll go on turf, but I think he just wants very, very fast ground. Um, you know, he's run twice on the turf. Once my horses were sick and he, you know, he came back sick after the race and he didn't perform well. And then next time it sort of, um, I shouldn't have run. We got an inch and a half of rain on the morning of the race and the ground went heavy and I did run. He didn't like it. He's got very small feet. Um, but I, I think he'd perform on the turf, but you know, fast ground. I mean, I will give him a, a couple of entries in turf races here in the summer. Um, and we'll see how we go. But I say I wanted to get him on the dirt. And please, God, if, if things go as I hope and expect on Saturday night, it would give us a reason to, to, to campaign him in the future on the dirt.